Hey guys, race day here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's Saturday, so you can see qualifying's going on, going on right now. A little bit of a late start to the intro, but um, it's uh, great to be out here. If only I could go back in time, I'd tell myself that everything will end up all right. Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like, and find your limits. Don't be rigid, always work towards a prime. Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life. A few friends with intent can help you feel alive. Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time, just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life. They'll try to kick you while you're down. They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone Yesterday we did practice I don't think I'll work much of it in Because this video is already going to be long If I do, uh, it'll be cut in right here Here making the final uh, preps on my cart And I thought I'd show you guys Because some people This is nothing new, nothing I invented But um, you see this on some people's cart And not on others And that is like a bumper retention Kind of thing um, And so what this is Is just like an old old throttle cable and a clamp and I'll just run it through the chassis here and then run it through both parts of the the hardware and through the bumper and then back in and connect it and I do that on both sides um, to me that's just like just like cheap insurance if ever my bumper were to get knocked off the hope there is that it won't cause me to get DQ because that this will keep it fairly close and typically if your bumper there's like an angle that they'll allow uh, and so my the purpose of it is for it to, to keep me from being DQ'd never actually tested I can't say that it works but up here it works right previously I've talked about putting like a I think I called it helicopter tape but I think it's really more just like vinyl protectant uh, on my cart and uh, again this year I did it and uh, I'll put a like a before and after shot of last year um, before I took it off and then after it really does work I mean it, it keeps it as long as like something doesn't burn through that top layer like you can just peel any tire marks right off but I kind of did a terrible job <laughs> on the front bumper I uh, I thought I was gonna be a lot better at it I went in way overconfident and by the time I, I got committed and I couldn't really undo it. So feel free to roast me in the comments because it's just pitiful. But I am a big believer in this like film stuff. Uh, I just get it on Amazon and uh, yeah, I, I recommend it. But here's our little camp spot. It's a mess right now. Yesterday we had some high winds come in. It's been raining Friday and yesterday, big storm uh, yesterday evening came through. So. It's still in disarray, but uh, there's our, our humble abode, and uh, just happy to be out here, guys. Uh, it's been better than last year. The cart, with our changes, feels way better, and uh, looking to see what we can do. Here we are at Charlotte Motor Speedway, where you know what the slogan is, if you can't be at Newcastle, you want to be at Charlotte. We're embarking on a new year here and you know when you turn 60 like I did you can look at it in one of two ways you're the best you've ever been or you can try to do some things to improve yourself which seems hard at go-karting your best days would be past you but this is a year that I've decided I'm not giving up on myself but to do it 
I need to break bad habits that I've learned. You know, I started racing four years ago or so and got started late. And I think I've just built in a lot of bad habits into my racing. So that's what this whole year is about. Even, you know, going out here today, I've been trying to smooth things out, not worry about time as much as just trying to build up, break those bad habits and get better. So we'll see. See if an old man can uh, get a little bit better by relearning some things. We'll see. It's awfully tempting to go back to the bad habits. So a qualifying recap. It was as adventurous a uh, qualifying run as I've ever had. And it had nothing to do with me really uh takes 50 some seconds to get around this track just under about 48 49 for the fast guys and by the time they waved me out uh, the guy in front of me just almost hit the first cart coming around and i thought they would tell me to stop because you didn't want to ruin those front guys laps and they're just yelling go 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 and it was a it was a disaster from there on i i never got to run my line i was trying to be courteous because i'm going to start in the back anyway and i can work my way up to my water level but i did feel bad for those guys in front was trying to stay out of their way as much as i could just let them run an, a line you know if it was a a race or something like that i would have held my line and tried to you know just have them pass me but here i was actively trying to stay out of the way and um just never got a good lap they because of all that the checkered flags flying for the front guys and we're back there and i lost a lap of qualifying for that so it was uh it was not ideal ckna usually runs like a well-oiled machine but this was kind of a, a mistake and hopefully they'll uh, know that uh, fewer carts can be in that qualifying uh, group then uh, well 26 I was 25th and I think they started having trouble at 24 but even whoa, then whoa, whoa. 23rd here dad well 23rd, 23rd is where I qualified right yeah but I went out 25th oh I see so yeah, I'm so, with you. Sorry. so yeah see you get second guessed by and I'm sure you guys understood but <laughs> um, that's what happens qualifying's over there's my chariot cart feels i mean just so much better guys it just we had a lot to learn last year and and during that season especially it was all spurred by this race last year like we learned a ton about setup now we're far from anywhere close to an experts but uh man carts are a lot better this year it's all about freeing it up here and uh we were i think we figured out a lot so went out in the last group because i had a flat tire in practice or morning warm-up which set qualifying order so i went out in the first group um and spoiler alert here i'm in 18th so let's just take a look at these times i'm in 18th here and if we keep going we keep going right there 48 9 okay so practically within a tenth between 12th less cash shout out to ghost racing's less cash uh so a tenth from me tenth and a half we'll call it tenth and a half from 12th to me and 18th so just an incredibly tight field and i i'm actually i'm, I'm happy with 18th honestly that's probably where i've always qualified if you know if not further back i just don't qualify well uh so i'll leave it to racing and looking forward to it looking forward to it. i'm not making any changes other than maybe a little tire pressure change on this maybe drop it a pound but i'm i'm very happy amv wheels held air this time i i did something right and I'm gonna as jorge would send it oh speaking of jorge uh shout out to jorge he was in my group started last popped off a mega lap put him fifth in qualifying nice job man i just wow race time dad he raised one. How you feeling? It's good time, you know. That's what we do. It's we're here putting it out there on the edge, trying to take it to the front. Starting at 22nd. I'm all business. Okay, here I am lining up 18th in a pretty stacked field. You know what? Let me scratch that. A very stacked field. 
and starting right behind uh, our pal Matt Geist of Ghost Racing and just too many good guys around me to even mention them all but it's uh, it's competitive so here get off to a good start Matt kind of gets hung out to dry on the outside I get a great run there just people got kind of hooked into each other and, and I made up a number of spots there so it worked well for me and trying to fall in line here the 29 I just with hindsight I should have kept my nose out there a little longer because these guys would have come and pushed me but instead they they tried to pass and uh, that's that's the nature of the beast that everyone's going to try to make the move that best suits them so just following here through the double lefts and the little s's and the 23 here gets a nice run, does a nice job getting around me. And so I just tuck in behind. And I think at this point, I'm running 16th right here. Cart felt great, like really, really good. And it's just like, the, I was just making these little driver mistakes and they, you're really penalized at this track. So watch here, the 23 does a nice job entering that better than me. Then he kind of gets a little squirrely there on that one, and I catch up. It's just little things that make all the difference. Um, and so here, 14 pops out. That's JD, and had a lot of fun racing it with him here. Very, very <laughs> respectful. And here he makes another move, and uh, we just kind of make a little contact. It's I probably squeezed him a little too much there, and so he just had to kind of get the curb and bump into me. So I brought that on, and I was able to hold him off. We lost a little ground, kind of, the, kind of the downside of fighting here, but felt like we could close this up. I didn't think we'd close it up this fast. <laughs> Something happened to back those guys up, and, and I got a little, went on a little ride over his bumper, and then lost three spots. You know, just wrong place, wrong time. So I'm now sitting in 19th, and I've got to, got to make up a little ground after, after that little incident. And so just kind of put my head down. Like I said, the cart felt really good. And it was really just on me to put things together and just be smooth and like consistent. And as it turns out, that's not necessarily the strong suit of mine. But I was trying. I was trying the hardest I could. And so here I'm just trying to reel them back in and slowly but surely able to do it. I think I'm being helped because they're racing a little bit up there. Never hurts. So here we can see that gap's closing and I'm starting to starting to feel like I'm back in it. So now me being the optimist that I am, I've got these grand visions in my head. I've caught them and now I'm just going to race my way to the front of this pack and everything's going great, right? And it was. It was good. Things change real fast right here and I just had no idea. Boom! Oh, just out of nowhere. Never saw him. Here's a little slow motion. So you'll see a 22 hoodie just drills less right there. Then I come in, hit him again. You can see us. Like, we, we, he basically hits his, his knee on his helmet, and I up against the steering wheel. It was, a, it was a pretty good impact. Everyone was okay. The carts were pretty tore up. You'll see mine. We had a, we had a lot of work cut out for us. It not great to start heat race one uh well finish heat race one in the back like that but you know racing that happens and just try to make the best of it and so the next uh, i'll start heat race two from the very back but i want to mention dad's camera just didn't i mean it recorded but like all the files were corrupted and just jacked up both heat race one and heat race two before we realized there was an issue so just unfortunate there that we don't have any race footage so his results, uh, out of 26 guys in heat race one, he had 24th, and in heat race two, he finished 21st. By now, you know my race did not go well. Here's what I'm working with. It's not good, I mean this, it's not great at all. It sheared off. The tie rod, obviously that got bent, but what I'm hoping is that by the tie rod getting sheared off there that uh, that took the brunt of the impact and the frame's good so we'll see <clears throat> excuse me we uh, we packed light but we did pack some spare parts so I think I've got what I need to 
to cover this, I think. So, yeah, first first thing to check is, or do is just replace this stuff. Put it on the ground, see if she's level. The four corners, see if it's level. If it is, I'm in business. And if not, we'll uh, we'll go from there. Got a problem. The kingpin is bent, but it's bent in the middle, in there, somewhere, and we cannot get it out currently. Man, we scrambled to get this cart ready. Just barely made it to grid. And as you can see, it's getting dark out. So it's getting tough to see with the tin advisor. I got off to a slow start. The 16 was not waiting around. He got off to a great start. I think he got a penalty for, for leaving the tram lines before the start finish line. Here, just trying to make my way through traffic and get around, of a, get around a few guys. Now I'm starting the back here, so I, I want to make moves, but at the same time, like, I just had a few hundred dollars worth of damage to my cart in the previous race, so I'm all I'm not looking to double down on that, and so it's kind of a balancing act. So here, running with the the 499, and just trying to trying to make something out of a whole lot of nothing. Right here, I started to throw it to the inside, and he decided to do the same thing on on 32 there caught me off guard kind of got me checked up and here I'm going I'm gonna go too wide into the next double left with the 20 able to hold him off so now the set my sights on the group in front again try to close down that gap and, and just try to make up as many spots as I reasonably can here at the 32 got a little squirrely Alex it was really nice to to meet him he, he was he was very nice and it was good to good to talk with him so here i pass alex and just try to continue my march forward so i was able to reel in the pack in front of me uh the 124 here jason i uh, used to race with him a fair amount at newcastle don't see him as much so it's good to see him down there i try to try to peek my nose in there but but uh get caught behind another cart and so i have to fall back in line i thought about it for a brief second right there throwing it in but it was best that I backed out of that. It's way too late. So here, gonna line up for another try to get around Jason. Look to make the move to the inside. I was able to pass Jason. Look forward here, and you can see a cart backwards there. I think that was Steve, who was having a pretty rough weekend himself. Up ahead, you're gonna see carts really getting wild, like three, maybe four wide, and that backs them up. I'm able to pass the 77 and it puts me on the bumper of the 17. That's Todd. Todd, he's he's on the short list of, of really good friends out that we have in racing. And so ended up behind him. And the thing was, I already had a bad heat race one starting back. I wasn't looking to mess up his race. And so he was fast. And there was just a couple of places where I thought maybe I could make a move. Like here, you'll see me dip down but uh, it just wasn't going to work and I caught the curb. 77 comes around, tries to make a move and I'm not going to say I was going to die on this hill but I wasn't going to come down alive. I wanted to hang on to that spot and he gave enough room so we were able to fall back in line and, and catch back up here. With just a couple laps left, catch back up to the group and I'm looking, I'm going to look a little bit here and man am I glad Todd didn't see me because look at this boom that would have been me that would have been me race number two with a, a good old impact so here I take a shortcut I had to divert and I end up back on the main straight and right there I just took the white flag so what you guys just saw was a record lap and yes I had the fastest lap of the race by about 20 seconds and with that, I finish at the back of the field, which solidifies my starting spot in the final at the very back of the field. So what was frustrating is I had a lot of speed, but just could not realize the potential. All right, so a little wrap up here. Uh, the repairs were made, couldn't show uh, because we were just really crunched for time, but everything got fixed. Uh, we even went through the axle. It seemed like at first something was jacked there, but I think it was just from straightening the cart, everything needed to kind of realign. 
raced it and honestly I, I didn't feel any difference in the cart. I thought the cart felt good. Um, I think I just missed tire pressure just didn't even think about it being the time of day. Uh, we were just rushed, whatever. But uh, from that incident, got a little mini boneyard of, of parts. We got the spindle here. Nice little kink to it. We've got a banana of a steering column. We've got the sheared off tie rod there. And this was the most interesting thing. This kingpin got bent so this is the top that we cut off and, and by the way shout out to our neighbors Tyrone and I am spacing on his name I'll have to dub it in but shout out to them they were a huge help they had the tools to help me cut it out and uh, they sheared it off and out she came so um, it was a you know it was eventful not not uh, not always you know it's not what you want to happen but it does happen so um still had a lot of fun and again thank you to everyone that helped me and uh you know maybe less cash maybe change your name to less spins anyways that is going to be a wrap for today and tomorrow we come back and i'm going to be starting at the back and dad will be closer to the front than i am and uh we're gonna give it another go and try to see what we can make of it guys it's still fun right it's still a fun day and looking forward to tomorrow thanks for watching